new Mi Journey 6 Alpha is out. And let's put to the taste, see how good it is if it's all um, as it claimed to be in new revelation, whatever stuff to create it, or it just sprinkles on top of 5.2 version. So for this, we're going to put to the test all of the versions just to compare. And I'll go use it my prompt that I used in other areas, and it is blue doll sitting in a red car holding yellow ball. I think that will should work good. Next, I want to actually go ahead and set different versions. And for this, we're going to use permutations. So version, and here we have it version one, version two, version three, version four. Okay, version 5.1, version 5.2. I think it's on 1.2, so let me go compare. Okay, yeah, I was missing five. So we have five, five, one, five, two, and version six. I think that should do it. Okay, close it, click, and it should says prompt, yes. Be sure when you do the stylizations, it need be set to the hundred, because if you have it higher, version one or other does not support it, so it'll give you errors. Okay, I don't know if any of them give it errors. It's eight jobs, so we're going through eight different versions and see how they will stand with testing on this string. Okay, generation is completed. Let's go preview. Right here, first we have a blue doll sitting in a red car holding yellow ball. This is version one. Wow, this was over like a year and a half ago, or even two years. And you can see we have it some resembles with we. <laughs> I cannot believe it. First version is kind of make me. Uh, see how much is different. So one, of course, it's not representing. So let's go to version two right here. We have it, and you can see it's a red car, kind of blue doll. You kind of can see it, yellow ball, somewhat closer enough. Okay, now version three, definitely a little bit better. Now we have it, blue ball. We have it ball instead of the head, so getting closer. One, two, three. This is version four, which I think was quite a bit step from version three and we can see right here blue doll inside the car yellow ball so it does a little bit better um same like right here inside the car the color is not yet all the way but it's still already way better compared to other versions okay and now this version five zero well this definitely have it a doll blue ones ball yellow ball holding a hand so not bad actually it does a little bit better but still a little bit off five one or well, definitely better creation on a characters you can see it right here and it even tried to put it inside the car but colors a little bit off five two and this is we have the red car blue doll yellow so this one actually is not bad kind of mm, close enough and of course now version six and that is a huge difference now we have a red car, blue doll, yellow ball inside the car. Just look on this, how accurate was going to the text. And one of the main reasons for what I was saying, it is change how prompts work in version six. Now it's more to natural language with less instructable. And then it actually says the prompt that used to work in version five, most likely won't work as work in six. So it's, you need it rethink in a way you work with version six and i see definitely right here look on this that is quite a bit different and it is really impressive because we have a red car doll sitting inside with the blue elements like blue doll here and holding yellow ball i mean that is really impressive how it was handling this okay it's good let's go try test next and next, I want to interrogate image and see how the version 5, version, version 6 looking. We won't do it early because I think it's almost pointless. So in this case, we're going with uh, uh, set settings right here. And in settings, I want instead default version 6. I want to change to version 5.2. This is what's the last official. Next, we're going with a describe so we can take our image. And here we have it, our image. Let's go press enter and see how they describe. Okay, 
it's still thinking right here let's go switch this back to version 6 and we'll do same same image same everything okay right here let's go enter and describe this so right there we can see a beautiful portrait of woman looking away posing at a photo in a style planner is the 80. So this is a little bit different. We can see right here it's a beautiful woman. Um, so they're all beautiful, which is good. Dark background and I have its stylizations included actually the lenses. This is interesting because it's actually give me two different lenses. Same right here. This gave it a little bit different. Okay, let's try right now to render them. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to select this. Okay, and we're going to imagine, paste this, and we'll go to dash dash version 5.2 on this. And we're going to take this one first. Okay. Okay, let's do this one. Actually, I should actually permutation. Well, it's okay because they're all different. So right there, and by default, it will be version 6, but just in case I go type version 6 and let's render this. So we're going to compare how they close the did uh, their own interrogations of the image of version 5.2 and 6. And when we take this and try creating backward and see how close they describe and how well they work in this way. Okay, so here is our original image. And if we look on this image, you can see person, gray background. It's kind of maybe going gray sweeter. I think I see how AI can see this, but it is actually truer than this. Okay, this is 5.2 version and it does create, but did not necessarily resemble it, something different. And here is our other ones, which six, I think it's resembled much closer. It's still gray sweeter right here. You can see gray background. I think they, of course, they're not exactly the same image because we don't have this model, but overall I will say version six actually resemble closer to the original image than version 5.2. Well, let me know in comment what you think, which one you think resemble closer in this case. And then next, let's go check how well it will work with the processing of the images. So right here, I upload image and we're going to copy image address. Okay. Next, we're going to type imagine, paste the address of the image, space, Let's go ahead and portrait. And next, actually, you know what? Let's go to create this portrait, colors, all the stuff. Let's go make this style, uh, maybe 700. Yeah, let's go to this one, image weight 1.4. Just kind of play around. And most important, we have it our versions. And we'll have it version 5.2 and 6. So we'll have a two versions running and we compare how well they will going with this versus our image they are uploading. Okay, let's go press enter. Yes. And wait a second. And here's our result. It is definitely a huge difference. So 5.2. Let's look right there. And you can see it's add massage i think it's converted to the more male figures instead of females so it did not necessarily recognize image as that and it does create kind of painting effect it's not bad but it's not come to the photo and here is version six and you see it's definitely resemble way better our portrait so it is work wow i mean the six point version is actually with the images it is very impressive and you know what, if you like what it does with portraits, you should see my other video about how to make cinematic portraits with version six. Actually, I was working with this a little bit more. So be sure to check that video. Um, it's probably pop up after this. So be sure to check that one. And yeah, wow, I, I it, it is big different, I think. So what are we done? We take this image, put it the prompts, try in version 5.2 and versions version six. I mean, it's a big difference on how well it was holding to this and apply the coloring and other stuff. It's very impressive. So I think so far, 
I'll say is six is a big step version against a five and how it's recognized prompt, how it's work with images and everything. And this is only alpha. So I want to see what's happening when they release on a full versions and then we'll test. I definitely going to test more. So be sure to subscribe uh, to the channel. Be sure when new videos coming up about uh, all this new developing and testing and uh, check that video. How I said before, it is about cinematic portraits or create these epic portraits with a mid journey. Yeah, be sure go check that video right there, right there or right there, whatever. Just check that video.